All right, guys, we are here in the the laboratory. <laughs> I got the uh, the F one seventeen here, the Stealth Fighter. This is a first sneak peek at the uh, at the new design. Uh, I think it came out great. Uh, the proportions, you never know what it's going to be like until you print the thing and you and you fully uh, you just you. You, you can test fit servos and parts and stuff like that. And everything really, really came out great. Um, the, the awesome thing about this is that um, I kept a secret till now, but it is going to be a twin 40 millimeter. So a lot of these, a lot of these planes are, um, are difficult to make RC for, uh, for the reason of power delivery. So, uh, the Twin 40, I felt, was a perfect uh, match for this model because intake volume, I have 115% um, for, the, for that 40 millimeter each fan on the intake, and, um, and I'm pretty well matched with my exhaust here. So um, it's not going to look scale, obviously, because the real F-117 has like a, has like a mailbox exhaust, and that just kills power. And if you did a single... You're going to divide the, the thrust and just, you know, I've, I've just learned that I stay away from that. It's not going to work. Um, is, well, it, it, it's going to work if, if you, you know, you're going to need to, to, to launch it a different way or have landing gear or something like that um, to get it going. But this is going to be hand launchable. If it doesn't hand launch, I'm not going to release it. Um, and the other cool thing, um, there, there's a couple more cool things. So speaking of hand launching, uh, it's dead flat on the bottom, so there's no you, you don't have any way to, to hand launch it. So, but you do. I left this circular for a reason. You always got to be thinking multiple uh, reasons. You can hold this just like this when you are hand launching it, and zoop, you can you can throw it underhand. Okay, so that's the that's the second cool cool thing. Actually, there's four. Um, this thing is super lightweight. It is 268 grams, the whole airframe, and it has a servo in it. So I'm thinking it's going to be 750, 800 grams all up weight with 1,000 grams of thrust. And it's going to have every ounce of thrust <clears throat> with, with the 40 millimeters. So it's going to have 500 each fan, 1,000 grams of thrust, 4S2400. It can probably run a 2800 because it's got so much lift. Um, and here's another here's another little tricky trick I, I did. Um I, uh, I basically, so my airfoil, this is a high lift airfoil. Okay. This, this thing is not going to be an aerobatic monster. You can see my profile here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to give too much stuff away, but what I did was I blended the airfoil and the wing into the fuselage and the normal F-117 is very angular and it's very boxy. I have my airfoil, so laminar flow, laminar flow, laminar flow here, okay? What that's gonna do is it's gonna, it's obviously it divides the, the airstream and it laminates the flow into the intake. And so you're making lift all the way through the intake, okay? Because just like the F-22 with the trapezoidal intakes, it actually makes lift and, uh, and it actually creates more stability with that. So um, that's another one of my tricks. And um, yeah, it's super lightweight. Oh, and another cool thing, last thing I'm gonna talk about is inside here, look at all that space. It's like, uh, you can't really see because, hold on, let me see if I can, if I can get some, some daylight in here for you. Huge, look at that. Look at the, 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 the cavernous, like you could, you could, you could carry troops in there. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, servos are on top because it's so flat on the bottom. You will have a little bit more of a chance of, um, of, uh, popping some stuff off on landings, but wow, guys, this thing, ah, man, it came together pretty, pretty easily. Actually. Um, the actual design process was pretty simple and, um, I'm hoping, I think I got a good ratio of, uh, control surface to plane. And I even have, I'm so confident on the, on the CG. I even have the, uh, the CG markers already, already blended into the file. So, um, hope you guys liked the video. I am going to fly this thing. I hope tomorrow 
or Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to rush this and throw it up in the wind. Uh, if, if it's going to be too windy, uh, it's an underhand launch. So I want it to, uh, I want to give this thing the best shot. So let's stay tuned and see this F117 fly on the next video.